Hello everyone, embark with me on a journey to explore the captivating epoch known as the Renaissance, a period of profound transformation that rekindled the flames of philosophy, art and the natural and social sciences. At the heart of this resurgence lay the rekindled appreciation for classical texts, notably the writings of luminaries like Aristotle and Cicero. Their words preserved through the ages spark an intellectual reawakening that reverberated across the centuries. Our tale commences in the 14th century Florence, where the flicker of Renaissance first ignited. Like ripples in a pond, the intellectual fervor radiated outward, illuminating minds throughout Europe and laying the foundation for the early modern era. This resplendent revival, however, found a remarkable ally in Gutenberg's groundbreaking invention, the printing press. Gutenberg's ingenious contraption breathed life into the world of knowledge dissemination, making the once laborious task of reproducing text a swift and an efficient endeavor. The echoes of Cicero's rhetoric and Aristotle's wisdom could now be heard far and wide, a symphony of thought resonating across continents. Yet, the rekindling of antiquity was not solely confined to Western Europe. As the Roman Empire splintered in 265 AD, its eastern counterpart Byzantinium inherited a treasure trove of classical wisdom. While the Western Roman Empire succumbed to the annals of history, Byzantine scholars diligently safeguarded the legacy of classical literature and the art of rhetoric. In the Western darkness, these Eastern luminaries upheld the torch of knowledge, abide with a shift in focus, the art of public speaking yielded to the cultivation of connections and status. Curiously, the fall of Constantinople in 1453 at the hands of the Ottoman Empire unraveled a tapestry of fate. A wave of scholars and artists, like Phoenix from the ashes, sought refuge in Western Europe. Their invaluable contributions infused the burgeoning Renaissance with fresh vigor, enriching its intellectual landscape with a mosaic of ideas, perspectives and books. As the tides of change swept across nations, a shifting of power was underway. Dynasties and empires underwent metamorphosis, heralding a new era where knowledge, creativity, and innovation were poised to flourish. The Renaissance, it seems, was more than a revival. It was an awakening, a renaissance of the human spirit, an era that altered the course of history and laid the groundwork for the captivating tapestry of the early modern period. The religious canvas of Europe was ablaze with new ideas that ignited the flames of reformation, a movement that shattered the religious monopoly held by the Roman Catholic Church. Amid this turmoil, the Protestant Church emerged as a powerful force offering an alternative to traditional religious authority. The once unquestioned dominion of the Roman Catholic Church was now challenged, prompting a fierce competition for the hearts and minds of the European populace. Yet this religious transformation was not isolated from the worldly realm. Echoes of ancient democratic ideals resonated across time, stirring widespread interest and reshaping the balance of power. Innovations in weaponry such as the crossbow, the longbow and the advent of firearms empowered the common citizenry with newfound military strength. The age-old notion of the knight's invulnerability was shattered as successful uprising and military coups demonstrated the potential of masses united by a common cause. Amid these systemic shifts, a revolutionary force was at play, the printing press. In 1430s, Johannes Gutenberg's invention set the wheel of progress in motion, forever altering the course of communication. By the close of the 15th century, the printing industry 
had unfurled its influence across Europe, giving birth to a staggering 20 million printed copies. A century later, this number skyrocketed to a remarkable 200 million, a testament to the widespread dissemination of knowledge and ideas. By the time the 17th century dawned, the printing industry's triumphant crescendo reached a staggering peak, producing a staggering 1 billion books. This proliferation of printed material marked a turning point in the accessibility of information, fueling the Renaissance intellectual fervor and propelling humanity toward a new age of enlightenment. So as we peel back the layers of history, we unveil a renaissance characterized not only by artistic and literary reawakening, but also by a dynamic interplay between religious reforms, political upheaval, and the epoch-defining power of the printed word. So join me in this enthralling voyage as we transverse the corridors of time, unearthing the gems of knowledge and insight that illuminate the renaissance of communication in all its splendor.